Hello. Today we're going to try a beverage. Today we're going to try Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And this one is a mini can. It's a 7.5 fluid ounce can. Taco Bell original. Taco Bell is probably the last time I had this. Maybe six or seven months ago. Um, it's definitely been at least a year or more since I've had a regular size can or a bottle. Um, the past few years they've been re releasing Baja Blast Zero Sugar. And that's uh, that's the one for me. That's the one I typically drink. But, um, you know, this is a pretty reasonable size. Uh, still a lot of sugar, but not... Uh, not as much as the uh, the regular can, so sort of like a sampler. So every once in a while I'll get crazy with the full sugar, but it definitely has been a while. So I I think it'll be fun to uh, to drink it and just see what I think of it. I've drank so much of the zero sugar in the last few years that. <clears throat> Yeah, it uh, it has that one of a kind, that strange. <laughs> when we were young and the world was new and there was no Baja Blast, uh, we had no idea what was to come. But now we just take it for granted. Um, but this is definitely a unique scent. It's it's this tropical sort of citrus. Um, I think the first time I, I, I had it, I thought it tasted, I think because of the blue, because of the coloring, I think it just, I equated it with Windex and I thought it tasted like cleaning products. I didn't particularly care for it the first time. It took me, it took me maybe half the bottle to figure out what it was and I liked it, but if you've never tried it before, it's, it's definitely a unique scent and a unique flavor. Okay. So here's the oxymoron. It's completely alien, right? It's completely like born of a lab. There's no natural. This doesn't occur naturally, right? This doesn't occur in nature. There's no like, you can't go to a jungle and find a Baja Blast fruit, right? It doesn't exist. It's just an amalgamation of things. So here's the oxymoron. It's completely alien and chemical, but it's also completely fresh. Despite all that, despite the fact that it's so strange and bizarre and not natural, it tastes natural. It tastes fresh. Whatever they've concocted, it's actually on the palate very smooth and very clean. It's nothing too abrupt, nothing too obnoxious. It's just, it's, again, it goes back to a time like we didn't know what it was and now here it is and we just take it for granted. It's, it's Baja Blast. It is what it is. It's this unique tropical citrus amalgamation of flavors, this, this brand. I mean, it's all in there. I get like, I get like pineapple. I get bits of coconut, I get bits of orange, I get bits of lime. I even at times, strange as it may seem, I even get like some sort of like strawberry, some sort of berry flavor in there too. It is bizarre. <laughs> absurd and downright delicious I really like this flavor um I don't go to Taco Bell much so I don't you know and I I typically when it comes around the summer I typically get to zero sugar but I'm happy to have a little can uh 10 of these uh to enjoy every now and again and get that fix what a strange, bizarre, but delightful flavor. <laughs>
Baja Blast. I highly recommend it to my friends and family. Um, I'd love to say hello to friends and family. If you've not yet already tried this unique flavor, um, get it while it's good. It's uh, it's available uh, through the summertime, regular, zero sugar. There's also two variants coming out this summer. One is uh, Caribbean Splash, which is guava. Uh, the other one is a passion fruit flavor. I've had the passion fruit frenzy available through uh, New Zealand, and I really enjoyed that. I don't know the full uh, name uh, brand they've given the uh, the U.S. version coming out here this summer, but I'm sure that'll be good too. Um, of course, it's available year round at Taco Bell, and typically in the summers you can get like a 36 pack of cans at Sam's Club. So if you're interested, uh, that's where you can pick it up. Um, love to hear from others what they think of this flavor. Uh, if they have uh, a favorite in the regular or the zero sugar, if they have a, a favorite uh, variant, um, there was like Flash, there was Gold. Um, there were two before that that are just not coming to mind right now. There was one that was like a, a it was a tremendous pina colada flavor. It was, uh, it was pineapple and coconut, and people hated that. They said it tasted like uh, sunscreen. Well, I don't, I don't eat sunscreen, but I do drink pina colada, so I enjoyed it. At any rate, what's your favorite Baja? Just let me know, and um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, share with a friend or enemy, and we'll see you next time.